Hello everyone, welcome to Melissa's Musings today. This is not live because I've just tried for the past five minutes to go live and Facebook isn't letting me. So I figured instead of letting <laughs> technology win and myself get anxious, I figured there's a phone on my camera and for those of you who tune in at noon, I'm sorry to be probably about 10 minutes late once this uploads, but at least the message is coming to you. So it's Boots and I. Today's a casual day, or more of a casual day, because it's a get everything done day, and we don't actually have any meetings until later this afternoon, so that I need to like look presentable for. So today, we've just been getting things done, and I don't wanna take that lightly. We've been getting things done. We've been getting a little bit gritty today with our to-do list and the things that we get to do with our house and our maintenance. Because sometimes when the going gets tough, we just gotta like hustle up and do it ourselves. And one of the things I very often get asked in kind of coaching conversations is, what do you do when the going gets tough? Or like, how did you make it through the difficult times? Well, my friends, <laughs> we did nothing short of getting gritty, of getting dirty and basically putting in the work to make it happen when the going got tough. There have literally been times where John and I had the commitment to make payroll, for example, for our employees. And at the start of our business, it was not uncommon for us to struggle with those types of responsibilities, with the big bills that would come or a huge payroll that we'd have to pay, things like that. And what did we do when those times came? Did we fold? No. Did I lay in bed and cry? as much as I wanted to and probably gave myself permission to for a few minutes. No, realistically, during those times, we had to get out and hit the pavement. We had to put the efforts in and propel ourselves forward through that really tough time, whatever it was, whether it be an unexpected bill or whether it be, um, you know, a huge like deal falling out or funds not coming through that we were expecting or whatever it looked like at any given time. When that going got tough, we needed to not fold and give up, even though that's what we so wanted to do in those moments. Instead, we kind of needed to double down and instead put in even more efforts and get more aggressive in order to make those ends meet, in order to make things work. And so even today, when John and I are given challenges in our business or in our life, like today we've had a really interesting 24 hours with a couple of our transactions and the recent rain that we had did some damage to a few different things on our property. And one of the things that we worked on this morning was kind of recompiling our front yard. Our entire front yard washed away last week in the rain. And instead of hiring landscapers, which I absolutely could have done, there was some space in our calendar this morning and we got gritty and we got dirty and we probably saved ourselves like at least a hundred bucks, probably 200 because we were both out there and our trusty, amazing assistant, shout out to Therese was out there as well. And many hands make light work, but we got it done and we got gritty with it. And so often when we're given the tumultuous times or the really rigorous times where it feels like we so badly want to just give up, know that by doubling down and putting those efforts, you are getting yourself out of it. But I also do want to be, and not a but, and I do want to fully acknowledge though that we're all human beings. And sometimes the going is fucking tough, like really tough. And there are days, like this morning, <laughs> had a real interesting morning with a few different things, work, my health, few things came up and, um, Felt really anxious this morning, gave myself a few minutes to cry, and then I said, you know what, Melissa, you dictate the way that your day is going to go. You can either be mopey all day, or you can put your sweats on, you can get out and do the yard work that you were planning on, you can get to the things on your to-do list, and you can buckle down and get it done. And, full disclosure, like, I shed some tears, and I felt anxious about it, because I'm a human being, and I get to release those things out of my body. And guess what? My house isn't the cleanest, and I don't look the best. But isn't that the beauty of life and isn't that what we're all navigating? And this life will be a struggle. It will be ups and downs. It will be feel like a roller coaster at times. And I can guarantee you that a lot of times you're going to want to give up. Because <laughs> I know from my experience and my personal journey that I often, very often, have the thought, is now the time that I'm going to give up? because it seems really freaking appealing pretty often. And then I think to myself, what would I prefer to be doing? And there's nothing that I feel like I would love more than what I do right now. So I buckle down 
and I shift into the smile <laughs> and I allow myself to release whatever it is that I need to release in that moment, whether it be tears or frustration or anger, and I move forward and I buckle down and I get it done and I put on my sweats on some days and I live in a messy house on some days even though it bothers me because such is life and we get to take it day by day and we also get to be kind with ourselves while we're crushing it and being super gritty. So I hope this inspires you if you're out in the trenches and just feeling down or if you're feeling on fire, I hope this message inspires you to know to keep going that <laughs> the end, it's not about the end, it's about the journey. And every single day you get to choose, do I get to do this journey with joy or do I get to do this journey in stress and anxiety and overwhelm? And if you're feeling those things, let them out of your body right here, right now, so you can move forward with your day and have hopefully a beautiful and wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. Love you guys.